Get me more coffee, Roger. Filling your cup, sir. Hey there, pretty boy. Parked that old electric thing of yours? Radio turned off today. I'm still eating breakfast. I'm not a brain surgeon. I'll turn on the comm once I'm done. I was called out for a scene, but now they want me back. I took scans. I haven't finished yet. I thought maybe you could go. Am I getting the feeling that I should have been there, and you went alone because I didn't answer the call? Listen, they're processing transfers to that new department. They want to chip me today. I have to go back. That chipped lab rat. Well, this chipped field rat will go once he has finished eating breakfast. What's the address? It's in the suburbs, 28 Moss Street. It's a nice little greenhouse past Joe's repair shop. I added some notes on the scan I took. I'll leave that in the bagged evidence with Emily in the lab. The new girl? Felice? Well, you are the new boy. Play nice. Don't pull her hair. Call her when you get to the scene. I'm not sure when I'll be finished at Central Processing. Yeah, and driving that thing a couple of blocks is probably going to take you all afternoon. I'm not buying that flying crap that Detroit is pumping out. This is the place. Lawson must live in a worse apartment than me. Alright, let's call Felice. Lawson's not... Maybe he'll be busy all day. I don't have to work with Felice. Detective. Hi, Agent Felice. I've arrived in a small green place that used to be someone's home. Oh, I love guessing games. Are you inside a turtle shell? What? No. The crime scene. Didn't Lawson leave you something? A poorly noted scan and four bags. Then he left. Accessing the scan now. Okay, I'll walk you through it. Good. Hit me with the evidence. I went before I came here. I'm good. Who are you talking to? Oh, I was just saying, I'm checking out the bathroom. Can the scan tell me anything about it? <sighs> Big toothbrush, small toothbrush, no bathtub. Anything more interesting? No, not really. I would guess this is the victim's bedroom. Nothing of interest showing up on the scan. It's morning. Oh, this weather. If there's a bed, I could sleep in it. I wouldn't tell anyone. Now that you know, I won't. Bullet hole in the wall. I guess it was retrieved? Yes. I scanned and sent to MJ on ballistics. Anything on the trajectory? This is with MJ2. Is this place run by social security numbers and not departments? I just don't have that information. Give her a call. Do you have a kettle? Not at home. Technically, the department has a kettle. I thought there were only coffee machines at the police station. Yeah, but the lab has a kettle. Surplus money, and other this. And what can you tell me about this kettle here? The scan doesn't say anything about the contents of it. Okay, I'll open it up. Making tea here. Well, synthetic chamomile smell here. In the kitchen. Two cups, one dead woman. Was she with someone? Maybe her daughter? It's tea. Kids don't drink tea. <gasps> Wyatt. Why would Wyatt drink tea with the victim? There's a hastily written report attached to this case. Wyatt was the officer on duty. Looks like he responded to the neighbor's phone call and brought the daughter to the station. All right, I'll call him. A slipper. A single one. Do you wear slippers at home? When it's really cold. Do you wear pants at home? I just stay barefoot, avoid the ground, endure the cold. I'm not telling about my pants. Maybe you should get slippers. Well, I can get this one. Can you find me the pair? Uh, the other one is being worn by the right foot of our victim. Oh, right. Maybe the lost slipper is due to a struggle.
This marker indicates some people still use mechanical keyboards. Is our victim a writer? Power cord? Cables? Our victim had a big old computer here, I think. Maybe the stolen computer is the motive. Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Okay, there's a pretty table with a marker here. Do you think this table could work by the side of a bed? My bed? Depends on the size of your bed. Why is this table marked? Right, there's a bag assigned with the marker ID. Groceries? Nope, evidence bag. There's a phone here. And? Scanning the phone. May take a little while. Right. Are you watching any shows on TV? Police procedurals, mostly. NCIS Detroit, and some Choose Your Own Path. So, work-related fiction in your free time? Basically, yes. How do you watch on TV, Detective? I just use it as background noise. I'm usually reading, eating, or sleeping. My mom sleeps in front of the TV. She wraps herself in a blanket. Your mother sounds like good company. The victim. The probable cause of death. Removal of vital occipital lobe and fragments of other lobes. With a bullet. Checked her blood? Yes. The sample confirms it's only her blood. No alcohol, no nothing. Just bit the bullet. Alright. I'll take another look around. If you aren't talking with anyone, leave this channel open. I have some evidence to process for another case. The night shift has been slacking. And you're alone today. Okay, I'll leave the channel open. I need to put you on hold. It's alright. I will be here, Detective. Hey, MJ? Detective Logan. Hey, I, I wanted to talk with you about something. Oh, the new lab girl. She, uh, she does talk about you. No, not that. So, what do you have for me? The bullet hole in the 28 Moss Street case. What can you tell me? Yeah, the lab girl sent me a scan of the bullet, as well as a scan of the bullet hole. Great. The angle is as if someone was positioned directly in front of your victim and pulled the trigger. The bullet is a metal polymer composite, 0.40. Can I ask you about the weapon? Yeah, that's my job. What can you tell me about the gun in the victim's hands? I've looked at the scans. It's definitely compatible with the bullet. It's a 0.40 Glock Tech, a 15-year-old design. Why would someone use a gun like that? Honestly? No idea. to go, Mary. Until next time, Logan. I'm back, Agent Felice. Hello, Detective. I have no doubt this woman was killed by the gun in her hands. It's rather obvious whoever did it tried to make it look like a suicide. A 40 Glock Tech, confirmed by ballistics. Should we take another look at everything? There's more behind this. Narrow down your focus, Detective. The table. TV. Places that had no action. Let those ideas bounce! The door. Things were set into motion when that door opened. The bullet hole. No one's gonna patch that hole. It'll last. It all started when the murderer entered this door. Have you inspected the door? Except he or she wasn't a murderer yet. There is no sign of forced entry. Someone she trusted. This kettle. I could pour Brazilian tea if you met me in the lab. Why do people do that? To keep their hands busy when talking? A drink for someone dear. Or a guest. The teacups. Two. One for the bad company. 
makes tea, then serves tea. Are you bad company, Logan? The slipper. The position tells the attacker didn't come straight from the front door. Check the perimeter first. Or made sure the child wouldn't see. The woman. Her body. Frida Fuchs. Apparently she worked for a small engineering company. For some reason, the full details aren't available right now. Previously worked as O'Connor's infrastructure analyst for another small company. Her previous company had contracts with DOD. What the hell? What about that phone? I will try to find a name on CCU for help. My... The murderer knocked on the front door. Someone she trusted, and she let them inside. She makes tea. A conversation starter. She is calm. She pours the tea, but they never drink it. Bang! No, not yet. There was a fight here. Someone strong enough to overpower her. Not your prince, Cinderella! And then, an argument. Shut up, you fool! Eat my barrel! And then, the shot. Bang, bang! A single bang. And she was gone. Solid theory. Working with this in mind until we find our suspect. The reason for this murder. The phone is the missing piece. I think you will like line two. Conference call incoming. Agent Felice, about the phone scan you sent me. Yes, we couldn't unlock it. No wonder. This shit's military-grade security. Fuchs. Excuse me? Who's this? Detective Logan. The phone's owner was Frida Fuchs. Freedom Fox? Dude, what are you guys into? Detective Logan, this is Jazz from the Cyber Crimes Unit. I think you're gonna need my help. I think we know everything there is to know about the scene. Time to review the notes. And I could really use some help to understand the killer's behavior. <gasps> Lawson! He graduated in psychology last year. Ah, forget it. He isn't picking up. Well, maybe not for you. Hey, old boss! Hello, my dear. Listen, got my transfer approved. May get disconnected at any time. I don't know why this would be relevant to me. You're assuming things now, but maybe there was a deep desire to shut her mouth. The broad meaning of trust. An upper middle class woman from a European country with a worker visa. She would presume some people only act in good faith. Public servants. Sorry for broadening your scope. Have to disconnect now. about that tea. Maybe she was buying time. I'd never have thought of Freedom Fox as someone who really trusted people. This is a relatively unusual gun. We should be able to trace it. But my searches lead nowhere. Guns aren't my area of knowledge. If she was a field officer like you, that shot would shatter her chip. I really don't need details on her death. I 
told you that from Lawson's notes. Yeah, she was not really an engineer. Let me trace the paycheck for her paycheck. So follow the money is a thing, huh? Shit. You know how public offices have strict requirements for hiring personnel? This compliance can be eased by the use of a contract with another company. That company then can be used for hiring who you want. A third party contractor. See, I am a third party contractor myself. The account that pays the company I work for was the same one paying the company she worked for. You're saying she was paid by the police department? Need to leave you guys. This thing could get me in trouble. you that from Lawson's... Hey, Logan, I think I will leave you with your thoughts. If you need to talk to me, ring me up. She thought it was part of the job she was hired for. Penetration testing. I understand now, Frida. You were just doing your job. And I think I'm very close now. I need to analyze what I know. Lawson, you there? Yes, I am always here. Listen, I know you did it. I did what? What is it? Are you charging me with something, pretty boy? I'm not sure yet. Second degree murder? Homicide? You killed that woman. And how did I do this exactly? You knocked on Frida's front door. Flaunted the badge. She offered you a tea. She had been up all night thinking about the security breach that she had found. She poured the tea. You walked around. Her daughter was still asleep. You lose control of the situation. She realizes that you're not from the crime monitoring unit. Now she has no idea why you're there. I don't know if you had the gun or if she had the gun but she tells you she is chipped. Now there's no way out of this. And the shot. You aim for the chip. That's a big cloud of smoke. Why would I do that? That promotion of yours. She figured out how to access the database. The crime monitoring unit database. All the data from our chips. This would cause huge setbacks for the new department and more time back in the lab for you. Maybe years, depending on how long it takes the third-party contractors to patch it. You can't act on gut alone, Logan. A fine rationale you've got there, but in the real world, you have to have proof, too. I am sorry, it's all recorded and stored on the database. Your theory will be forwarded. Wait. No, there has to be something. She was dead when I arrived, Logan. There is nothing. I was going to see her, but I don't know what she was doing over breakfast. I parked my car to talk to her about the security breach. This was part of my evaluation assignment. I heard the shot and was terrified why it came, and the precinct called me because my location pinged me nearby. Terrible day. I couldn't think about anything else. I'm sorry, Lawson. I may have been mistaken. Is there something missing you would like to add? Why did you take her computer? <laughs> I am done playing games with you.
taking a transfer for a different PD. It's far away. I think there's a spot for you. Give me a call.